everyone, this is Sinet for Self and Living. And in this video, I would like to expand on a post I recently made in relation to your ship and the captain and the crew. And what something like that practically means in your relationship with your mind, yourself and your physical body. Now, <laughs> what's interesting is, you know, sometimes I, I still feel kind of weird, you know, when I say my mind, myself, my body, in, you know, in the sense that usually the self is just self, you know, what, what, what's the mind, the body, I just want to be me. <laughs> but interestingly enough, obviously, with the um, extensive uh, research, knowledge, information and data that has been established and unearthed in human civilization, there is more parts, uh, extensions, uh, expressions of ourselves. So I can more define it or term it as my self-self, my being self, then my mind self, and my body self. You know, it's it's like just like we have different uh, personalities, you know, in our relationship with people in our life. We we access, you know, with um, with parents and family, we're more accessing, you know, the I'm your child personality. And with friends, you're more accessing the one of your more outgoing, extroverted, you know, expressive personalities. And that goes into your behavior. So it's not that, you know, your mind, your body is separate from you. It's just extensions of the center of yourself, your being within, right? So now, and having a look at the captain, crew, and ship, so this was something that stood out for me uh, from the beginning of my process and also with having grown up uh, by the ocean and uh, you know, uh, always being exposed to the ocean, to boats, to ships. And therefore it was more comfortable and you know relatable for me in defining myself, my process within and without, uh, according to this analogy. And I'd like to share it to also assist and support anyone else who'd like to utilize it and can, you know, relate to it. So a captain and the crew and the ship. Now, why also did I start with explaining and expanding on my mind self, my self self, and my body self? So I called my initial ship myself, okay? Myself in the sense that I, I so often realized, you know, I had those moments where I was separating myself from my own mind, you know, my, my thoughts, my inner dialogue, my emotions, and sometimes even just from my body, you know, in various ways. And whenever I do that, I would imagine like a, a part of my ship, my self ship is falling apart. So whenever I would judge my body, you know, I'm imagining, oh, there's a hole, water's coming in. And, uh, you know, obviously I have to go and fix that and send out my crew, which is my tools, you know, parts of me that's you know, very uh, accurate and specific and, um, you know, on deck when it comes to directing and sorting out the things that... I essentially do to myself. And this was the, the first most important dimension uh, for me to actually start with, which is really realizing that you know, I'm responsible for all of me, my mind, myself, and my body. Just like on a, on a ship, you know, you're, as a captain, you, you don't just see yourself as this self-interested loner on, on the ship. You, you, everyone is an extension of you. You are and hold the greatest responsibility in that regard. Um, your crew has got more detailed, specific responsibilities. They are the parts of you that you can't be. They're duplicates of you, right? 
uh, is that's how one would uh, most effectively steer a ship, uh, direct the ship. And, uh, you know, seeing everything and everyone as an extension of you, as a part of you. So just making that shift and that change within yourself, you will well, well, this is what it did for me, was allowed me to really slow down more and look at the moments where, let's say, for example, I, uh, my body feels uncomfortable, like when it gets bloated. And just it sometimes feels like there's another body in my body, you know, where it's like layered and I feel bloated and uh, everything is uncomfortable, you know, and it just kind of feels sometimes like you just want to hang and not feel it. So when I was, usually when I went into that, you know, I had all of these thoughts like uh, about weight and judging myself and my clothes not fitting and I'd be like magnified, you know, and when I wear clothes, like all the places where this body is now looking different and it was like crazy you know after obviously walking this process and going what am I doing to myself here I mean who the hell comes to us like you know puts their head right by our body going oh look at you oh my goodness did where did that come out of and that's not fitting properly in there. Oh, look, did you pick up weight? You know, like, or whatever. You know, it's like ridiculous what we can do to ourselves. And, but, you know, at the time, I was very serious about it. I was really in it. Um, and I don't want to laugh about it. Like, I want to talk about it, I can. But, man, when I was in it, it was extensive. Uh, it was difficult. So... What helped me as well was this point in a way that whenever that stuff would come up, like my body is uncomfortable, I, it would still want to come up, but then I'd remember, girl, this is your ship. This is a part of you. What are you doing here? And I would then instead go, okay, my body is bloated, uncomfortable. What can I do to assist and support it, to make it more comfortable? Then I would start wearing, for example, looser clothes or track suits and things like that. You know, as the body goes through its changes um, throughout the month, especially maybe for us women. <laughs> and uh, with a once in a month experience. And just doing that one simple change, you know, opened up more and more points for me inside myself where when I would talk down to myself, I did that so often as well. You know, where I, again, didn't feel like I did something good enough or I wasn't good enough. I, that one, um, still to this day, because it was so extensive in my programming or in myself when I was younger, still to this day that thing comes up sometimes. And I have to go, wait a minute, okay, slow down. If you're going to go into this pattern of not good enough, there is going to be, you know, you you are not you're going to be distracted as the captain and you're not going to steer your ship effectively into this moment or this day and before you know it you're going to you know crash into something because that's also something that happens we don't realize what does a captain have to do the crew the entire ship all holds different parts of responsibility but are all equal and one within it um the captain doesn't get distracted you know, when it takes a point of responsibility, it's there. And is in that point, I am a captain. This is me, absolutely, in this moment. You don't have captains going, well, you know, I'm on the ship. I'm liking the crew and the day is just so nice. I am going to sit back, put my chair up, have a nice little drink on the side and just soak up the sun and just let everything take care of itself. It's kind of mostly what we tend to do. Uh, it's quite interesting because the what's coming up now is the the card of the Osho cards, uh, laziness. Also did so well, you know, um, where you also have that uh, sitting back kind of a feel while everything's falling apart and breaking apart around you. Um, and 
we've so often more taken that stance or that state within our relationship to our mind self, our self self and our body self. And this has in many ways allowed us to fall apart. Our captaining positioning, our crew as a part of ourselves and our ship, our entire experience of ourselves. So in the next video, we can have a look at how we can practically expand on grounding all of this information in your everyday life and really see where your problems are with the captain, the crew and the ship as yourself and how you can start rebuilding and organizing and structuring that ship, your captain, your crew as you and really start you know, sailing into the waters of yourself and life and start discovering and exploring what life is all about. Thank you very much, everyone.